Hi, welcome to my channel and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I bring a topic about on international arbitration for the settlement of boundary maritime delimitation disputes and disputes from joint development agreements for the exploitation of offshore natural resources. In every use of the sea, the exploitation of ocean space has led to the need for the regulation of company interest and the resolution of conflicts because technology now allows more efficient and viable extraction and exploitation of offshore energy and resources. Such operation will achieve even more attention in the near future. As the number of regions with offshore oil and gas fields and seabeds containing mineral and hydrocarbon deposits are subject to different claims of sovereignty by various nations. More sovereignty related disputes as well as disputing resulting from joint agreements on the operations and exploitations of such resources are likely to occur. The body of international law covering governing such operations and the law of the sea do not regulate in a uniform way. Disputes arising from coastal states, claims over adjacent maritime areas or from joint development agreements for the exploitation of offshore natural resources. Where the settlement of such disputes is not achieved by negotiation procedures entailing both non-binding and binding decisions are used. Arbitration plays a pivotal role in a lead letter. This discuss the various aspects of international arbitration for the settlement maritime boundary delimitation issues and issues arising from joint development agreements for the exploitation of a natural resources maritime boundary delimitation disputes have often arisen in geographical areas where boundaries and sovereignty are claimed by more than one state. States often much reach an agreement on the delimitation of disputed maritime boundaries as well as the treatment of the natural resources existing therein. Where states have not agreed a clearly defined boundary between themselves, the determination of the boundary is normally undertaken in light of the provisions of the 1982 United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea or LOSC. However, the LOSC's provisions are ambitious in that they only provide general guidelines. Those allowing differing interpretation as to the maximum extent of a country's possible claim. As does international law, which in large part will be demonstrated by general state practice. Moreover, although states are often required to act so as to reach agreements between themselves, on the delimitation of maritime boundary zones on a just and equitable basis. The sheer number of factors to consider when settling a contested maritime boundary poses substantial difficulties to the achievement of an equitable final position where the identification of maritime boundary disputes and also provides incentives for the establishment of cooperative arrangements between the states involved in the dispute. 
The result is first, that disputes are settled by the states concerned with few or no major international repercussions. And second, that joint development zones are established. Most of the existing joint development zones were devised to deal with the issue of boundaries or also competing claims of sovereignty and also jurisdiction. In the case of existing boundaries, such arrangements prevent the infringement of rights of either party which could otherwise be the result of exploitation from the other side. In other cases, such arrangements will facilitate the actual delimitation of a boundary by separating from it. The issue of underlying resources, which will be both under a joint regime. However, zones continue to exist where although the joint development zones may already be established. Delimitation regarding the facilitation of exploration and exploitation and the overcoming of jurisdictional difficulties is pending issues of pending delimitation arise in relation to joint petroleum development agreements and also between two or more states. To develop and share jointly and agreed proportions the petroleum found within a designated zone of seabed and subsoil of the continental shelf or within the exclusive economic zone or EEZ to which the states are entitled under international law. Issue of pending delimitation also arise in relation to mineral deposit and hydrocarbon deposit zones. In contrast with joint petroleum development agreements, cross-border unitizations is employed by for the treatment of an identified deposit which can be a specific petroleum reservoir or a field or deposit mineral hydrocarbon or other lying across a delimited boundary I mean boundary line fluid mineral deposits which span national boundaries can only be determined with the cooperation of all nation states involved the LOSC creates an obligation by implication that where natural resources straddle an international boundary. The relevant state parties will have to negotiate in good faith to conclude these arrangements. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.